South Africans do everything through music. Being a multicultural country, we have so many versions of music and dance and they all come with a, an amazing backstory and a history. This is all stories we want to tell through Jägermeister Brass Cartel. I think what's so exciting is we've got really good classic South African songs. Choosing local songs for this project, um, it's been challenging but it's been really fun. Um, obviously you have to choose stuff that's very recognisable um, to a vast array of you know, age groups and demographics. Um, so we've chosen a whole lot of old stuff, um, Mango Groove, uh, Johnny Clegg, uh, we've got some Mendoza in there and we've got some new stuff like Goldfish and Questers and Good which works really well for this. It's like I was working with natural ethnic colours, which I usually work with. Jägermeister has got ethnic colours, the orange and the greens. Ashwa Ashwa is normally they're based from Lesotho, but we as South African, we use it more like it's a denim. We wear it every day, we celebrate with it. The front man will be wearing this black top hat, and the dancers will be wearing these shorts and vest. Since we are Southern people, we like to wrap our turbans and cover our head. So this is for our brass band ladies. The South African version is going to be better than the Blas Capella. Considering all our layers of, of substance to our culture, it is simply impossible for Brass Cartel not to be an instant hit uh, locally and even internationally.